Hello, hello, hello everyone, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Today is episode 14 and today we will be working on a pickle farm. And to light up our lovely ocean before, we'll light up the ocean today. But first things first, we need to, well, we've got a lovely mob farm here. You can see mobs falling down, but I realise we are missing something quite, uh, uh, no. We're missing something quite crucial down here. You notice we've got bones floating around here. Well, let's just pop down here. And if we pop in here, we've got all these bones. We actually don't have a bone section. So first off, we need to go ahead and build ourselves a bone section. So I'm just going to pop in behind here and see if we've got one set up. Oh, a bit of lag there. Sorry about that. So the next two. So these ones here, we need to get some observers in there. And we need to just put this in so we can set it up for our bones. I'm just going to get the bits and I'll be back with you guys in a second. There we go everyone, just adding the final touches, put one bone there, and put a whole lot of likes going along here. And then that there is pretty much our system now fixed up. Let's just quickly replace these chests here. And how, how am I going to do this? There we go, chests are now in, and let's place down ourselves oops two signs before and then we'll get right into doing this pickle farm two signs are now down and let's get this junk and just chuckle down in here or i suppose we could just go control q and just dump it all on the ground since we no longer need any of the stuff so today's plan i'm pretty sure i said this before anyway let's see if we can get up sorry about the clicking if you could hear that Today's plan is to build a pickle farm and to light up the ocean around this island. And because in the coming in the coming weeks, my plan is to completely redo this whole island, tidy up, make it look a lot more nicer, and just pretty much redesign it. And finally get a lighthouse on top, and maybe eventually build another couple iron farms out here and get it a little bit taller. Because we really need to get this place tidied up because it's been like this for quite a few episodes now, since it's episode 14 today, I believe. So today I'm going to be using a farm, or a, a pickle farm, which has been designed, many designs out there. But it's one that I'm going to just quickly show you guys right now what we're going to be building. Okay everyone, this is a pickle farm we will be building today. It is designed by Ray's Works. I'll have a link to this video in the description below if I remember. And this is what we're going to be building. I, I'm not sure about the coral here. I placed it down a bit before because I've never worked with corals before. C-O-R. So I'll put that down as dead within a couple of seconds. So let's just see. So let's see if this has got a different random, oh, random tick speed on here. Game rule, is it? Random tick speed, is it set to 300? So yeah, it's a lot quicker than usual. It's 100 times quicker. But this is what we're going to be building today, and yeah, it's going to be quite interesting. It's been running for about 5 minutes now, and look at all these pickles. It's going to take no time to light the ocean. The light the ocean is going to be the hard bit. But this is what we're going to be building today. We've got two, four, six, eight hopper mine carts. We've got one in the middle here. And we've got one set of pickles which is hiding up underneath here. This is what I'm going to be building. And I'm going to pre-build this below ground so the bedrock level will be clearing out. So I'm going to go ahead and click the resources for this here. I'll, I will film using the coral next. I'm not sure how to really click that. Maybe for pickaxe. Yeah, this is what the farm's going to be like, and I'll see you guys back on my lovely survival world. Okay, here we're somehow just hopping into bed, just to get rid of any phantoms that may spawn around above my head. So I've got most of the supplies here for the lovely farm, but first off, I believe we need to go get ourselves some lovely corals. Lucky we've got a coral bar right next to the base, so now let's just pop down here. Oh yeah, we need some, a couple of pickles to the farm, don't we? Go away. Oh yeah, I need to work on getting like a nautilus, not a nautilus, um, something like that there. Oh, I'll take that gold. Was it? Was it? Oh no, it's just from flesh. Why do you guys all have kelp in your hands? Okay, I'm just going to kill off these guys with back in a tick. Okay, 
Okay, so now that I've killed off these guys, let's try and get this coral. So let's see. Okay, so a pickaxe kills it straight away. What pickaxe did I use? Let's try a silk pickaxe. Let's get rid of that. The wall, that is a. Uh, Actually, I don't want to get stuck down there. That could be quite bad. Um, let's get ourselves a lovely pink... Or oh, just yellow, just to go with what they have. There we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oops, let's get some air. Do you listen to the sounds of what those make? It sounds like they're exactly like slime. Let's turn up the volume just a little bit more. And now you guys won't be able to hear my voice, but here it is. That there sounds exactly like slime blocks breaking, which is quite a nice sound. So we've got 13 there, we've got one lever. I need to quickly get out some, I need to quickly move some plate, some bits over. Let's just quickly chuck those slabs in there. Grab that there, and we will have a lovely purple block, or pink block in the middle. Let's just quickly grab a couple of these in case I stuff something up. Okay everyone, let's start construction of this lovely thing, or platform. So first off, this is how I believe it is supposed to be going. So I'm just going to be following off and doing clips on how to actually build this thing. So I've got bits going along there. Oops, we've got railway carts that come along here with mine carts that go on top let's just quickly grab a few more of these that goes there um, we have one more that goes here I have a feeling I don't have quite enough mine carts now that I think about it we need two more but that is great mass isn't it so I need to get three more, two more for here and one up top there. So what I need to do is I need to actually go ahead and clear out this space so it's a little bit more bigger. So I'm going to go ahead here, I'm going to place in these other couple minecarts. Or actually what we need to do first is we've got minecarts here so let's just get, let's just get rid of these ones. And because I was meant to put in right here, that goes here is a... Whatever you call this, what's his name? A trapdoor for a water block that's going to go on top. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get myself another couple of minecarts. I'll be back very shortly. Okay, folks, I've added in a lovely, lovely another thing here. Whatever you should call it. A lovely. <laughs> Hop and mine cut. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just quickly chuck in a little bit surrounding here, as I think this is supposed to. I think this is how it's supposed to go. Just listen to me rambling on about bits in here, but I have to go ahead and place in some slabs around the sides here. So there's only three of them. So I'm going to do this the other sides. I'll be back in a tick. Okay, folks, I've gone ahead and added in. A lovely hopper minecart here and I've added in some lovely chests going around the outside. So now it's time to start placing in all of our lovely kelp. Is it, is it, is it kelp? Coral blocks. Okay, so what I need to do over here is I need to place that down there. That go uh, 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 oh. Why did I just do that? I'm just going to place these two down here and hope for the best. That's gonna, that, that's not meant to go there. What, what did I just do? That is meant to go in the waterlogged chest. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go fix up the top of mine carts very shortly. So let's just chuck all these through here, waterlog all these chests, and that there is how the farm goes. That goes there, that goes there. So it's an infinite water source, so it keeps all these corals nice and alive. So that goes down there, and let's get number two, that goes there, that goes there, those go along there, and you hear the lovely slime block sound. I'm, I'm hoping I'm about to place these back in again. And there we go, there we go, and that there is now all in position. I'm going to go ahead and fix up my mistake, and I'll be back with you guys very shortly. 
upstairs and going in and getting the whole place set up for the pistons and getting ready to place in the lovely pickle which is lying on the purple box there. And yes, I'm recording this after I have done this clip because some weird audio glitch has happened and this whole clip sounds so weird. So that's why I'm just doing this quick talk over and sped it up so you guys can see what I'm doing. So I'm going to get back into the video very shortly and I'll see you guys again in another time lapse when we light up the lovely ocean. See you guys then. Okay, now it's time to add in the lovely little final touches. So we're going to have one here, hop it on, hop it going here. And now we need to have ourselves some redstone dust coming around the area like so. I think that's supposed to... That's how it's supposed to look. We're supposed to have a lovely repeater on one tick delay there. And we have got ourselves a, now an observer. Which, which way is the entrance bit? We need an observer to come up. Do I need anything else out of here? I don't think I do. So now it's just pop up a little platform up here. So then I can get up to just work on this machine. So I've got that there, we have now have our observer pointing its face in if its face going up please. If it's, oh, I just want its face to simply go up. How hard is that there? Hopefully that there is hopefully that there is facing the correct way. Okay, that is facing the correct way. So now on top of that there we have one block going up like that there and like so. Oh, I actually should put that in double bits like that there. And now we need to add in a little pathway going around the side, which is where we're going to have our little timing circuit. I'm just going to go ahead and check the design and make sure I've got all the redstone correct. And I'll be back with you guys in a nanosecond. All the redstone down there is looking pretty good. But now we just need to add... Oops. That needs to go there. Add one tick there. We need to add in, oops, I don't want to do that here, sorry. Really hope that didn't break the farm just then. Let me get another slab down. We need another piece of redstone that goes there. Another repeater on one piece of dust. And that there should be the entire farm done. That there should be going up and down now. Just put that there and let's chuck in a couple bits of our lovely bow meal. And let's pop down and see if this farm is working. If this farm is working, I'm going to first go, I'm going to be quite happy, I should say so myself. I'm not sure if this is working yet. We've got one pickle in there. 17 pickles in this one. Pickles galore going into here. And nothing going into this one here yet. Well, it looks like it's working to me. We've got pickles getting stuck up here for some reason, which I don't know why. But we've got pills coming in, which is a very good sign. Let's just move this over here so we've got that there all piling up. Let's just see how many pickles are actually falling over down here. Let's just quickly pop in some bits here. Oops, see the lag getting in there. Now I'm hoping this. Whoa, that was. What's that? That's okay. Let's just quickly pop up here and turn this machine off. Here we go, still got a few. Oh, let's just run out that last little bit in there. There it goes through the Romeo very quick. Let's turn that there off and let's see how many pickles we've got. Oops, I don't want that to go that way. They can go there, get rid of that there. And how many pickles got stuck on the side here? Only six, so that's a little bit lossless. It has a little bit of loss, but that's not too bad. 31, 58, quite a few here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to fill up this entire system I've got up here with bone meal from our lovely farm up top. And I will be back once, well, I'll we'll be back once our storage system is filled up. Okay, from the pickle farm, it has been going fantastic. But I have noticed that there has been a few coral die-offs. So we've got the middle, it's gone fine. So apparently we're supposed to have some water in here. But I don't know how to stop that from flowing. I don't 
forget how it's it's actually inside this slab here, but it still wants to flow down. So my my solution to this here is get some blue bits of glass and just chuck in the water there and then place down a lovely just two bits of blue glass and it should fix the water issue that we are currently having. Might look a little bit ugly but gives us some lovely coral. So I'm gonna go ahead and also replace those corals and then we can get back to or we'll get back to shortly lighting the ocean. See you guys again in a second. Okay everyone, that has now been roughly half an hour in working on the underground lighting. So let's fly up as high as we can and see what it looks like. I'm hoping it's going to look pretty good, hopefully. Oh, look at that, look at that, look at that. Let's just fly out around. Oh, why is it so like, oh, I've been sleeping out, aren't I? Look at that, that is looking amazing, apart from the visual glitches that we're getting there. But when we light up this entire ocean, it's going to look beautiful. It's just screwed up here. You can see all the dark ravines. Half an hour where it does actually not take too long. You can see a few patterns where I've gone around and that there though, but I'll eventually go around and fix up the dark patches. And hopefully this will help prevent the drown from spawning, surely gonna do something like that there. I hope everyone enjoyed watching this video today and well I'll see you guys next time in episode 15 and in episode 15 we will start work on getting this island designed and tidied up so from now on in the next three to four episodes we will be working on redesigning the island getting some more iron farms built getting this thing here finished off or tidied up a little bit and also getting ourselves a villager breeder built in and a big trade hall, which is going to go around the side here. So thanks everyone for watching, and I'd like to say goodbye. Cue the outro. You can be my new